Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am unboxing my Beautylish XL Lucky Bag. I'm so, so excited. So if you didn't see it, I will link down below. I did open a regular size Lucky Bag as well. That is all thanks to my boyfriend because you can't order two and so he surprised me with one. So sweet. So I actually got to try out some other things and that was a really good one but it's time to open my XL bag and I'm so excited. So if you're not familiar and you didn't see my other video, Lucky Bags are a Japanese tradition known as Fuku Bakuro and they're really intriguing to me because it's every new year they do this and it's just so much fun. You get all these bags, you can go to different stores, but it's based on a tradition of like bringing you luck for the new year. So I will link the other one down below, but let's open this baby up. I have not opened it at all. It is completely sealed. So I've got my handy little knife and so you guys know the XL bag is $150. You do pay $15 in shipping, so basically I spent $165. But with this one, you are supposed to get a $350 value or more. And some people do get extra lucky bags. I think you get a card in there if yours is an extra lucky one. I'm not expecting that. I'm just excited to get the XL. I got the regular one last year. I really, really liked it. I didn't quite love it, but I really liked it last year and it is a good deal. I'll show you what it looks like. So it's got all these little designs on it. So cute. All right, so I pulled out this little package. It feels like it's got multiple things in here. So I'm gonna unwrap it. Woo! Okay, so the first thing I see is Sanskrit saponins. Hmm. True learning is a form of love. It is humble. Okay. I don't know what this is exactly. You guys might know what this is before I do. Use once every other day in the AM or PM. Can be used more frequently if desired. Not intended to remove makeup. If makeup is present, remove first. So I'm guessing this is some type of cleanser. I will have to definitely read more on it. I know I went through a lot of talking without even showing you the product. So there it is. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips Matte Contour Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade. What shade is it? Let's see what shade this is. And this is in the shade Showgirl. I got the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter last year and I did really, really like it. It looks like it has a pretty moussey consistency, which I'm not mad at. That is a pretty color. I think I will definitely get some use out of that. I've got the By Terry Preciosity. Flashlight Elixir. Hmm, some type of highlighter. Okay, so this definitely does say it's a highlighter. I know By Terry products are pretty expensive. So let's put like a little drop. And that's what the bottle looks like. And we've got a little drop there. Okay, that was got like an opalescent type of look to it. That's pretty. Okay, hey, I see a Wayne Goss brush, yes! I got an eye brush last year and I loved it. So this is the number 13. I'm not sure the purpose of this, but it looks like it would be a good contour brush because um, it's nice and densely packed. Very excited to get this. I think I said it in my other video. If I could buy all the Wayne Goss brushes, I definitely would because I feel like they are some of the best quality you can get. Another By Terry product. So this is the By Terry Sun Designer Palette. Okay, bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Ooh, very nice. It's in like a little velvety case or a little sleeve on it. And that's what it looks like there. Upside down. I'm not crazy about the packaging. I think I did see somebody else get this. So it's got a little variety here. Savannah Love is the color. So I think that is very pretty. Definitely some usable colors in there. Okay, so it's supposed to be bronzer, blush, and highlight. I don't see a shade that looks like a highlight for me. Um, just personally, because I'm so fair. Another package, it looks like there's so much in this one. I got the Hylamide. HA Blur Hyaluronic Based Prismatic Blurring Surface Finisher. Okay. So that's what that looks like. I'm guessing that's a primer surface finisher? No. Apply over or mix with liquid foundation. Oh, okay. Over. Hmm. This is supposed to blur, I'm thinking. Very interested. Can't wait to give that a try. I see that I got the Jouer Skinny Dip Palette. I already have and love this. 
So this will definitely be going in my next giveaway. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Definitely one that I would love to give to you guys. And I'm thinking I've got so many good things that I'm probably going to have multiple winners in my next giveaway. So definitely be sure to subscribe and know when that's coming up. So this is the Kevin Aquan Neo Setting Powder. Ooh. Another one with just beautiful packaging. It's got like the little velvety sleeve. Beautiful case. Now this is the kind of packaging that I am drawn to. And that to me looks gorgeous. It's just so, ooh. And it says matte to glow. So I'm guessing this side is more matte and then it comes to a glow side. So the Neo are always like that Neapolitan. It fades from one to the other. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see it here, but it says set your makeup dial up or down with the first ever three in one flexible setting powder matte side for a natural finish or glow side for a radiant finish so i can tell you that i didn't get what i was hoping to get it's okay so i saw pe some people get a natasha denona palette and i did not get one so i am a little disappointed um but it's the luck of the draw you can't like be upset it's just what you get so i did get a little package from orbe and it says the travel essential set i did get like the texturizing spray last year which i wasn't crazy about it has a balmescence lip treatment so that's a pretty packaging this is the okay i didn't know they made perfume so this is the cote d'azur it smells nice and then we've got the gold lust repair and restore conditioner this and then we've got the shampoo so shampoo and conditioner in the gold lust that's cute and i think this is the thing i got last year oh no this is dry shampoo i'm a little bit more excited now because i love dry shampoo so that's pretty nice that's a good little set so i don't know how much that value is for i'll put that on the screen that is my extra large lucky bag so like i said i was kind of hoping for that natasha denona palette but it is okay i think i got a lot for my money i got a lot of really nice things to try out um it's just always one of those things like i don't want to spend that much on a palette and just kind of mm, i can't do it so at any rate i'm really happy with what i got and i will definitely be doing it next year it's a no-brainer for me so look out for those things in the giveaway um i got one thing in each box that i'm going to be putting in my next giveaway so be sure to check out the video and see what that is and make sure to subscribe so you know when everything is coming up i love you guys thank you for checking it out and i will see you in my next one bye